When we have to make a decision in life, or we're helping somebody else make a decision, we usually say to them, what's your heart saying to you? What's your heart saying to you? And the reply often comes back, well, I know what my head's saying, but my heart's saying something completely different, and I want to go with my heart. So what are you, a head or a heart person, or perhaps a healthy mixture of both? And if we were just to stop the reflection right now, I think you could probably go on your own journey of thinking about your heart, what your heart's saying. Oh, I really have a heart for my family, for my friends. I love them dearly. Or perhaps um, she's wholehearted, isn't she? Or for some of us, we might say, my heart is broken or my heart has been broken. My heart feels healed now. My heart's full of admiration. Or maybe, when is the date going to come through for my heart surgery? Or like me, oh, I really love my new Christmas socks because they've got hearts embroidered onto them. Hearts, the beating centre of our very human being. And our church is at the centre of a caring village. And it's no wonder to me that heart for teeth is lit up with love. And at the moment, it's lit up with love in the shape of hearts. The pub, the church and now some of the neighbouring houses have taken their Christmas lights and instead of packing them away until next year, have made them into the shape of hearts. And if you haven't already, go out and have a look. It's really heartwarming. And before Christmas, Glyn and I walked around the village just enjoying the lights. So warm, so inviting, so joyous and full of nostalgia, evoking memories of times and loved ones gone by and encouraging us on in these present challenging times. Our hearts were drawn in by the warm glow of the lights and the comfort and the hope that they offered. And so it is true now of the heart-shaped lights. They're warm, they're inviting, they're drawing me in, they're drawing us on. Why is that? Yes, they look pretty, but I think it's more than that. These heart-shaped lights simply and profoundly bring together the ongoing Christmas message. Christ shining like a light in the darkness of the world. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not and will not overcome it. The light of Christ is the light of love. And we often symbolise love through the very simple and childlike picture of a heart. Jesus' heart is the echo of God's heart and it is full of love for us, his creation, because he tells us we are made in his image and his likeness. What's not to love? And the light of his love draws us in, even at times when we feel a bit unlovable, um, not worthy to be loved, or we haven't got the energy or we're too concerned with the cares of the day. Perhaps we don't deserve it. He still constantly loves us. And for me, and my hunch is for many of you, that we do actually need to know that message right now, that never-ending picture of love, as we face into some very, very challenging and painful days. Some of you will be familiar with George Herbert's poem, Love Bade Me Welcome. It's such a lovely conversation of God shown as love and in conversation with us. So I'm going to read it for us now. And can I invite you, um, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're doing, perhaps you're listening to this reflection whilst you're washing up or doing something else, just to pause and maybe even close your eyes and picture the scene. There's a room and the door opens 
and there's a light and the light is love and the conversation goes like this. Love bade me welcome, yet my soul drew back, guilty of dust and sin. But quick-eyed love, observing me grow slack from my first entrance in, drew nearer to me, sweetly questioning if I lacked anything. A guest, I answered, worthy to be here. Love said, you shall be he. I? The unkind, ungrateful, oh my dear, I cannot look on thee. Love took my hand and smiling did reply, who made the eyes but I? Truth, Lord, but I have marred them, let my shame go where it doth deserve. And know you not, says love, who bore the blame? My dear, then I will serve. You must sit down, says love, and taste my meat. So I did sit and eat. You see, no matter where we are in life's journey, whatever trials, tribulations, joys or successes we experience, our God of love knows our hearts and he says, I can take it all on my shoulders. You're not too much for me. I am here and my heart is that you will sit down and eat with me. And that is the invitation to us all, yesterday, today and forever. As the Beatles sang, all you need is love. And God says, I know, I made love, I am love. So do invite me in. Let's sit at the table together and you can tell me all about it. Go well today and may we all know that we are truly loved.